Hey there and welcome to this video. Today I want to paint a watercolor melon. Water, watermelon? A watercolor watermelon? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I want to paint with watercolors and I thought I might also add lettering to it. And I want to letter a movie quote. And can you guess what movie quote I want to letter for a watermelon watercolor painting? <laughs> It is I carried a watermelon from Dirty Dancing. So yeah, let's go ahead. I do have my blending palettes over here with some leftover paint, a glass of water over here. I'm not even sure if you can see it from this camera, but I have it here even if you can't see it. Oh, but I should get some watercolors. It's nice I have my watercolors here in this drawer underneath my desk. So that's convenient. I think I'm gonna use this one and maybe oh no I wanna use this one and another green okay I think I'm gonna start with a green part so I'm gonna add some of this light green watercolor color this is I'm by the way I'm using the Ecoline liquid watercolors Okay, so I'm gonna add water to my brush. This might be a little bit too neony. Now I'm just gonna paint or draw. No, it's painting a half circle over here. And I wanted to get a lighter towards the top, so I'm gonna add a bit more water. So that it gets kind of more, a little bit more translucent towards the top. And I'm gonna add a little bit more paint later on. Oops, there was too much water on my brush to um, the bottom of the watercolor. Oh no, I'm messing up right now. It's getting thicker and thicker, not what I wanted. I'm gonna dry off my brush a little bit to get it a little bit lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more here on the bottom. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit because you can see where I left off my brush. And obviously I don't want that. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. Now I need to add some red paint. Oops. Okay. Make sure to get the green off the brush. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red already to my brush, but not too much. Just so it's very, very light. Because I want it to be a little bit more wet on too wet or wet and wet. So I'm gonna start out very very light and then getting it darker. And as you can see I'm leaving here a gap because I wanted to have this white border. I'm gonna try to blend it out soon. So I want it I want to get a little bit closer to the green but I want it to be blended out like Oh, I started drying so that it gets very very light light to the green and the rest can be dark because so I'm adding more paint I actually do like how this looks, that, you, that it is lighter to it. I wish I, that it was more like this with the green part as well, I kind of messed this up. But I like it for the red part. Maybe I'm gonna add a few more red dots so that there's a little bit variation. variation. Okay, all right. So I think I'm gonna let this dry and then add the seeds and the lettering. Okay, the red part isn't dry yet, but I also want to add a little bit more to the peel. I want a darker green and this doesn't even need to blend. So now before I add the lettering and the seeds, I want to add some splotches. So I'm gonna add some water to my brush. So I'm gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna tip on my finger and add some. 
You could also cover up the melon if you don't want the splotches to go into the melon. I don't really mind about that, I don't care. But if you do, just cover it up with some pieces of paper. And also I do have something on my desk so that the splotches don't get onto my desk, I hope. Maybe, I mean it's watercolor and I see that some did get on my desk, but it's watercolor so it should be fine. To be honest, I think I'm going to add some pink ones, just because this kind of reminds me a little bit too much of Christmas because of the red and the, um, the, the red and the green. So I hope by adding some pink ones it's not that Christmassy. Ah, it should be alright. So I'm going to wait a little bit to, for this to dry and then we can add the seeds and the lettering. Or maybe first the lettering and then the seeds. Okay, so the paint is dry, so it's time to add the lettering and the seeds. So I got my small brush pen over here and yeah, let's start lettering. I maybe should have sketched it out with a pencil first. Oh no, it actually works out because I just wanted to say that it's a little bit too far on the left side, but I think that works. Now I'm kind of thinking that the splotches are actually more distracting. Maybe that was a stupid idea, but hey, can't change it now. Right, I'm gonna write down, oops, Ooh. that um, it's from Dirty Dancing down here in the corner. And now we also need to add some seeds. I'm gonna use the brush pen for this as well. Obviously you could also use watercolors, but I'm going for the brush pen here. I don't like the seed over here, but I think it's fine. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll see you in my next video. Bye!